In this video, I'm going to explain how to estimate demolition or demo for structured cabling type projects. Now on the screen here you'll see that I have an estimate called structured cabling example estimate. I have a section in here called structured cabling where if I was doing an estimate I would be inputting the different components in here. When I'm doing a, a good size demo or I should say a lot of demolition on a job I like to create a separate section and break it out separate. Okay and that's what I did in this case. I created a section called demo. Now I'm going to click take off edit so I can start inputting materials to estimate the demolition. And then once I get in the takeoff edit mode, it takes me to the product catalog here. Now I want to explain kind of an overview of this. Um, if, if I'm estimating a project that just requires very little demolition, and I can just sit over the blueprints and determine how many hours it takes, then I just do a manual input um, using the add labor button. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's say that I look at the uh, blueprints and I determine it'll take two guys two days to do demo for a project, okay, on a structure cabling job. I go up here and click on Add Labor button. And when I do, it opens up these windows that I can type in, okay? And I'm just going to type in the description demo, okay? I said my example was two guys, two days. So that's quantity of two. And two days is the equivalent of 16 hours, isn't it? Okay, eight hours a day. So two, so one person would be 16 hours. In this case, it's quantity of two, 16 hours. And next, I just click save. Okay, now that's the easiest way to estimate demo. But sometimes you get into a scenario where you have to estimate tons and tons of demo. You have to to remove all kinds of cable drops and and uh, equipment in the in the equipment room and so let me give you an example of how I would do that okay this is this is uh, really a time saver once you get onto it the first thing that you have to do is you have to make a, an, an accurate material list then what you're going to do is you're going to input the materials into Red Rhino and you're going to cut the labor in half okay you're going to manually change the labor to half of what is displayed there let me show you the first example just using a simple example, I'm going to drill down in the structured cabling product catalog, 4,000 here. And when I do, it opens up the different components of structured cabling. Now, again, I'm going to use simple examples, but when I do, you'll understand and get how this works. So let's say I have to demo a bunch of cable and a bunch of face plates, okay? So I'm going to click on the plus sign next to cable. And let's say it's copper multi-pair, so I'll click on that, drill down in here, and here it displays the different sizes of cable, 4-pair, 25-pair, etc. Okay, so I'm going to use an example that I need to remove 1,500 feet, so I'll type in 1,500 here for 4-pair cable, and then I'll just click Add, and when I do it populates to the right here, okay, like you see it. Uh, like you know it does. Now to that point, notice that it that it spit out the, the four pair cable with 1500 feet here and it shows 4.94 hours. That's almost five hours, isn't it? So what I like to do is I like to come here and change the labor to about half. Now that's almost five hours, I'm just going to make it 2.5. Close counts on this, I'm estimating demo, okay? So I'm going to say it's 2.5 hours here, I changed it to about half and I'll just click save. Okay, now another example, let's say that I want to uh, demo a bunch of uh, face plates, okay? So I'll just click the plus sign again next to face plates and boxes, and I'll click on face plates. They display themselves down here. Let's say that there's 10 one port face plates wall mounts. So I'll type in a quantity of 10 here. I'll click add. Again, same thing. When it populates over here, this only populated like 0 .07 hours, which isn't that much, but just for the sake of doing it consistently, I'm going to change it to about one half, and close counts on this, I'm going to make it 0 .03 and then I'll click the Save button to save my work. See what I'm doing here? Now, this is real simplistic. I'm showing you a simplistic example of this, but a better way, or a way to, well, let me say it this way, a way to do more if you have a big demo job is to actually use our assemblies. Let me show you that next. So I'm just going to go over here to the left. I'm going to click the drop-down next to Wizards, and I'm going to select Assemblies. 
And when I do, it displays the assembly catalog. Now, I, I, want you, I want you to know that I'm using my Rhino here, and I have test assemblies in here, okay? You're not going to see that in, in your Rhino. I just realized that I, that I uh, set up some test assemblies in here. So um, what you're going to see is up here, 100, 200, 300. You're going to click the plus sign next to 300 to display the assemblies for structured cable. Now that said, let's say I have a bunch of horizontal stations here that I have to uh, demo, okay? And again, if you've watched our videos, you know about these assemblies. So if I'm doing demo, I just go count these horizontal assemblies, these station assemblies, and I go input them. Now I'm not going to put input a whole bunch of them here. I'm just going to input uh, one type of assembly here so you'll get the idea how to do this, how this flows for estimating demo. What I'd actually do is I'd go take off all the assemblies and I would input them into Rhino and cut the labor in half. So that said, let's say I have a bunch of two cable station assemblies that I want to demo. And I'll, say, I'll say that there's eight of them. So I counted them. There's eight. I go in here and put eight of these. I click the Add button and let it populate the materials to the right. Now again, I'm going to go right down the row here, and I'm going to change the labor to about half of what it displays here. Okay? I'm going to pause my recorder and just go ahead and do that. Now you'll see where I've actually gone in and changed the uh, the material, rather the labor for each of these items to about half. Now again, on structured cabling, Red Rhino doesn't have product pricing here, material pricing for the materials. Just so you know, if I did have things that populated the price of materials here, I would actually just zero those out, right? Again, structured cabling doesn't display pr pr uh, price prices for products, so, but if I did happen to input some materials here that spit out a material price, I would go in and zero that, right? Because in demo, you don't pay for materials or they don't cost you, you're just removing it. Okay, so then next I just click the save button to save my work, and then I just go input some more stuff. Now I'm just going to show you one more example, and then I think I'll have gotten my point across. Now in this case, I drilled down into the structured cabling closet build-outs here, and it input down here at the bottom, you can see where it shows, oops, I clicked the wrong button there. Let me clear that up. Um, so again, my example is, is that I have to demo a floor rack, okay? So I go in here, I put in a quantity of one. When I add it now, it's going to populate a whole bunch of materials here, okay, for the floor rack. And again, I just simply go through here and I make everything about half of what it is to capture the labor for demolition, okay? Now, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to save it like that is. You get my point, though, okay? Do an accurate you know, on big jobs. <laughs> let, me, let me recap this from the beginning. Small projects, just look at the blueprints, figure out how many hours it takes, and use the Add Labor button right here to, and input the labor hours. Big projects do an exact material takeoff, go in and use the product catalog or assembly catalog, input it, change the labor to one half, save it, and go on your way. Okay, hope that helps for estimating big demo projects.